Well, we used what were then called found vocals, although we didn't exactly find them. We had to... Yes, we had to steal them. Uh, that's it. We had to steal them from various places and where they were hidden. And uh, we had to look under rocks and in vinyl bins and places like that. And, uh, and then it took about a year to do what... Uh, well, sample clearing what hadn't been invented yet, but the equivalent of clearing samples, we had to do that. Um, which worked out, except in the case of two songs. Um, one of, it's a lot of, I, I don't have to talk, tell all this. <laughs> you can probably find out this information online somewhere using the internet. Okay, tell you anyway? Okay. Yeah. All right. One, uh, one song, uh, we had a, 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 a radio preacher, a woman named Catherine Kuhlman, uh, who's a radio preacher in her, she passed away, but her, Sermons lived on on the radio um, and the airwaves, and she had a great kind of soothing but very kind of creepy voice. <laughs> and uh, it was just really kind of gave, gave you chills, not chills in a good way. Um, <laughs> chills like that something really bad was coming up behind you. Uh, anyway, uh, so we tried to clear that one, and it turned out that on her deathbed, an, another televangelist, a man named Oral Roberts, had managed to uh, get her to sign over her estate of recordings to him. He wouldn't uh, allow us to, anyone to use them for any purpose whatsoever, so it didn't matter uh, what, what we'd done. So we found, it, we found something else that worked fine, uh, maybe even better. Then there was another one. You're getting the full story now. <laughs> We uh, uh, had a recording from a series of records called uh, the Music in the World of Islam. Uh, that, and it was of men chanting the Quran. And uh, we kind of put that over a track or put a track under that, however you wish. And uh, uh, a local Islamic organization here, uh, not here, but in London town, uh, not so far away heard the record and, and said that it was blasphemy to treat the, the chanting of the holy book as if it were music, especially music with a groove that made you want to shake your butt. So, uh, we had heard, this might be true, it might not be true, but it makes for a good story. We'd heard that the guy who tipped them off was none other than uh, Cat Stevens. <laughs> We got on the peace train and took that song <laughs> right off the record. Uh, that's all you need to know. <laughs> yeah, we've, got, we've, got we've got a train to catch, so okay. One, two, one, two, and... <laughs> Oh, my God. 